Our good friend Kelly Byers, who goes, gets back into the seat this week in the NASCAR Nationwide Series. How are you there, uh, young fellow? What you been up to? Hey, guys, I'm doing pretty good. Um, not doing enough racing, I can tell you that, but uh, golf game's gotten quite a bit better. Oh, oh. Well, Kelly, this week uh, you get a chance to go back out and uh, get in a race car. Once again, we've talked to uh, several people uh, headed to Texas that are going to get in a car that, that, that hadn't had an opportunity in a while. And and the question to those guys is going to be the same question I ask you. Do uh, you feel like when you get these limited opportunities, you've got to make the best of it to, to let everybody know that you're out there? Yeah, well, first of all, it's just uh, any time you get in a race car, it's a great opportunity. And Everton at Go Green, Go Green Racing and then uh, our sponsor, FentonMotors.com, coming on board, um, allowing us to do this. Um, you know, it's been a while since I've been in a race car. I think it's been since uh, Chicago um, last year when I drove the, the car for, for JGR. So, um, you know, you need to go out there and do well. You need to finish the race. You need to uh, just be realistic about what you're in and um, get the most out of it. You know, it's the biggest thing. You can't go out there and, and have a DNF and um, really not get anything at the end of the day out of the race. Yeah, it's it's one of those things where you've got to be mindful of the opportunity, certainly, and, and try to bring that car home in one piece. How have you been keeping busy? I remember uh, the last time we talked with you, probably last season, you had been involved in what was then Team Renzi for quite a while, kind of working in the shop and driving occasionally there. How have you been filling your time? Have you been on the hunt for, for opportunities completely, or have you been doing some other things? Yeah, I mean, pretty much the last, uh, really, 18 months, it's been uh, sitting in front of the computer and um becoming really a full-time marketing guy, um, just trying to find opportunities and businesses that uh, fit, you know, the agenda that we're trying to do and um, that have a place to, to be in NASCAR and want to be in NASCAR. And um, that alone takes up about all the time in the day. So uh, I've pretty much been doing that. Got a lot of companies that uh, talk to, a lot of companies I'm working with right now that feel that can be um, a success here down the road. Um, you guys know it's you know, anyone else, it definitely takes time to make these deals happen. And But uh, I think we have some momentum on our side as far as on the sponsorship side, which uh, which helps a lot because the teams are struggling right now um, just getting to the track with the funding issues. So um, pretty much all my time has is, is been dedicated to that and, uh, you know, just working on potential, you know, opportunities like this one came about here and to get back in, in a car at Texas and um, the biggest biggest thing about this car too is just not locked in and we need to get back locked in and points so um that was one of the reasons too that you know i got this opportunity to come there and drive for them kelly uh, a lot of folks uh, in the same situation you are want to do this or very qualified to do this are out there hunting sponsors uh, but a lot of them are, are doing other things as well they're going somewhere on friday and saturday night they're running a late model car a dirt car a sprint car whatever they can do do you have any of those opportunities you run any local stuff or just working really really hard on trying to get back in the nation nationwide or truck or cup it's a little bit of both you know growing up in wisconsin all the really the late model opportunities i've got are up there so i try to get up there you know, about three times a year to run a late model, and I've actually got one scheduled to run um, in June at the Milwaukee Mile. Um, it'll be actually a memorial race for my past uh, crew chief, Howie Leto, so I'm going to go up and do that in June. But um, it makes it a little more difficult for me to run, you know, weekly shows or stuff down here without really knowing a lot of people from this area. But, um, you know, it's it's just like anything else. You uh, you get back in a car and it seems to come back to you, you know, after a few do laps and knocks the rust off and it's just more or less just learning the people you're working with and and you know what their their ultimate goal is and trying to to reach that uh, and i know what your ultimate goal is certainly you get this opportunity with go green racing with that 39 team they've been around a while they they field some pretty good stuff are you working in the shop are you helping them with the stuff or is this just show up at texas and and, and give it everything you've got kind of opportunity well, it helped having the, the weeks off here, and we were able to uh, to do some extra prepping, and um, I was able to just utilize people in the sport that, that have helped me in the past and have the knowledge and stuff to, to be able to maybe bring a little bit to the deal and um, just run through a different couple setups and stuff that they've done, not done in the past and, and really just fine-tune the car in versus just getting the car to the racetrack and racing. So um, the guys have worked extremely hard for the last week and a half for me, and uh I've been over there quite a bit, just uh, just seeing what they're doing and, and really just giving ideas of stuff I've done in the past and things that uh, that I like and, and feel 
that might work at Texas, and um, everyone's been really open. So um, we're all expecting to to run pretty dang good, really. Um, the car is a nice uh, nice piece. Um, like I said, we have we've got Fenton Motors um, out of Texas there to come aboard. Um, that's a company that's got over 500 employees, and I think close to a dozen or more uh, dealerships throughout the Texas and Oklahoma area. So they really stepped up and, and helped us get on board so that we could go do this. And um, we want to, you know, get a good run under our belts too for them. Kelly, you, you mentioned a few minutes ago, uh, you talked about where you were from and not being around there anymore and being down here. I would imagine that you're uh, in the Charlotte area somewhere. But uh, and if that's the case, I, I, I would imagine – by being around this area, you have found out where about all the race shops are at because I would imagine you've been around knocking on a lot of doors. Yeah, that's very true. You know, it, I mean, realistically, I'm probably working with, you know, seven different teams with all these different sponsorship opportunities because anymore it's a, a lot about, you know, the B2B situations and some teams have uh, current partners that we can do deals with and, uh, you know, make it a win-win for both parties and, um, some of the other teams don't. So it's it's led me to be um, pretty wide open as far as talking with quite a bit of teams. And the teams have been really uh, receptive to it, you know, just because of the the current funding situation they're all in, too. So um, it seems like everyone's working together trying to get the same goal and let's put sponsors on these race cars so that everyone can, you know, be at the track week in and week out and um, racing and having fun. Man, I've got to tell you, I'm impressed uh, having known you for several years, to to hear the way you have learned the 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 language you have to speak now to to get yourself these opportunities to get out of the mode of uh, being a guy just waiting for the phone to ring and and being somebody who's out there trying to hustle the business that it takes to get back in the seat. There, I, I'm very impressed. Is this a is this a one shot opportunity? Do you think with this race team, or will this lead to a to an ongoing arrangement? Uh, we're, I mean, right now we're just doing the one race. That's all we've really talked about. Um, obviously, if, if funding comes about, we can do quite a bit more races. And um, we've tried for, you know, a good probably a year or so. I've um, worked with the owner, Archie, and um, that, that group of guys. They actually did a couple couple starting parks for them last year, so I got to know them pretty well. And um, they've got good equipment. You know, they're really good people. Um, they're racers. They just... Uh, they're in the sport because they like racing. You know, they're not in it to make money. They just uh, they like helping people out and they like racing, and that's why they do it. So it's uh, it's definitely a team I would run with in the future if, if uh, you know sponsorship opportunities came about. But um, you know, like I said, it's it's all right now down to sitting in front of a computer and on the phone and um, trying to create re- relationships with uh, companies, retailers, whatever it may be, um, to be able to uh, to bring to sponsors and, and give them value and take some of the risk out of their equation. Kelly, you, you mentioned being in front of the computer and uh, know what you're doing. You're, 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 you're doing all the things you need to do to try to get into this uh, business and stay in this business. But speaking of being in front of the computer, do you get in front of the computer and, and go and simulate some of these races? Do you eye race? Do you do anything like that uh, to keep on, uh, to keep in pretty good shape there? You know, I've never done any of the, the online racing or the iRacing or anything like that. I think uh, the biggest thing that helps me is just watching previous races or watching in-car cameras or um, just literally watching the TV coverage from a race every weekend. And, you know, as a driver, you can relate to what's going on and um, the different lines they're running. And um, just uh, the in-car cameras, the sound anymore and the quality of video, it's uh, it's amazing what you could sit literally at home and, and watch on TV and learn and um, just a bit strategies, you know, different things like that. Um, I mean, that's pretty much more of what I said. That's what I've been doing versus the, the iRacing thing or things like that. Well, I know you're anxious to get to Texas, get that steering wheel back in your hands. I'm excited for you. We appreciate you making time to come on the show with us. All the best on Friday night. Hey, I appreciate it. Hopefully we can, uh, we can talk more often here in the near future.